Within Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, we have a new group of antagonists called the Self-Aware Divine Trees. These are probably the most unique villains that we've seen within the Naruto Boruto universe considering that they are the first primitive kind of non-human villain that we've seen you know when you compare them to the otsutsuki they're they're more sort of an advanced race but these dudes are primitive just being born just being created from uh you know nature itself as in the ten tails and in this video i want to discuss specifically the divine tree and the leader of the group called judah so i think that judah is going to have a profound effect on the plot of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex in a way that no other villains really could. So Judah, as a self-aware divine tree, he really transcends the traditional villain archetypes, you know, with that status, considering that he is a newborn, but he still has expansive knowledge and he but he also has that curiosity to discover the world that he's basically just been introduced to so this character's origin as the manifestation of the ten tails divine tree and uh you know him just having such absolute power it's really going to change the dynamic up in the story and challenge the protagonist uh like boruto in the leaf village uh on a whole different level he just has that blend of uh, sort of a mystical prowess considering he is a product of a tail beast and he has that kind of strategic intelligence he just seems to be overly smart and overly you know experienced even though he just came into the world but he also has that inquisitiveness thirst for knowledge that really adds a layer of complexity to the characters so in all Jordan's emergence really hints at deeper narrative themes within boruto 2 blue vortex that are definitely on the way and one thing in particular that stood out to me was how this character actually reminds me of a, a different character from another series specifically hunter hunter the ant king also known as uh, medium meduim so it's actually crazy because they actually have a same color palette almost same kind of vibe in terms of they're like non-human they lack empathy they're able to evolve by eating other life forms and they both have just a curiosity towards the world and a passion for learning new things like we saw uh you know the king playing different types of games the ant king playing different types of games and stuff like that trying to compete against the world's best and he just wanted to learn new information. Uh, Judah is the same way, reading different books and preserving, uh, you know, bookstores and stuff like that. It, it just adds that level of complexity to where they're not just straight demonic, uh, go crazy type of villains. They actually have some depth to them and they care about certain things. And they're, they've just been born. They're newborns. So they have this unique uh, perspective on what they see around them so it it's just interesting to me but these are both characters that posed you know immense threats within the series that they existed and they really challenged the protagonist on a whole different level i also think that uh we just recently seen himawari get introduced to judah when he thought that she was actually naruto uzumaki and he wants to devour naruto uzumaki to be able to evolve into you know a more enhanced version of himself but himawari this is actually going to draw parallels between the character komogi within hunter hunter so this seems like they're setting up himawari to be a sort of liaison between the humans ninja shinobi type characters and the newly released divine tree self-aware dude so it's almost like meeting himawari and understanding who she is or your naruto's daughter or oh, i want to devour your father it, himawari's words might allow judah more understanding of humans in this world and i think that like i said this goes back to the parallel kind of concepts that we have with the hunter hunter and the naruto uh universe so i'm actually this switches up the flow for me because that was an interesting villain to watch the ant king dude was a menace savage but he also 
as the story went along, he developed more empathy towards the world around him and stopped being so selfish and stuff of that nature. So we might see the same thing within these characters known as the self-aware divine trees. I think that at the end of the day, I think that uh, Judah is going to end up devouring his own siblings. You know what I'm saying? To become some ultimate being in the end, because I think they're going to basically develop in ways that might differ from judah and he might be like yo since y'all are against me i'm just about to absorb all y'all and become the ultimate life form or whatever the fuck they want to call themselves but uh i think that this shit just takes takes the story to a whole new level we never had an enemy like this when you look at all the enemies within the naruto series and in the naruto shippuden series there's never been an enemy like this I mean, the old Sutsuki are non-human and they lack empathy towards humans. They view humans as ants, but they're more of a highly developed alien race that, you know, is way ahead of the humans. So they don't really it doesn't give that same vibe because they're very informed. They're not really a primitive species that just came out of nowhere. Like the Tentos got actually turned into a reasonable, self-aware being, which is very scary. But I feel like this is just going to take the story to new levels. What do you guys think about that connection between Medium and Judah? Do you think that those characters draw parallels? That's just what I noticed. It really will force the, the characters to look at things differently. And I feel like it just puts the stakes on a whole new, new level because these characters really don't care. They don't have attachments to the same thing that humans care about. And they're really just trying to... Uh, fulfill their natural instincts which are to evolve into i guess the ultimate god tree or something like that let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about this analysis what do you guys think it's been your boy anime analyst the young jiggy ninja i'm gone peace